as we push away, the right leg comes down to meet the left. Extra hamstring challenge and don't forget to allow yourself to stretch as you raise the leg. So we're getting the challenge and the stretch all in one exercise. And scooping up, rolling, starting from the pelvis, just like the bridging work we did earlier, just like the roll downs, we're gonna articulate that spine, open the chest to the ceiling, and then start that roll down, articulating all the way down, and let the hips hang back. Taking care as you bend the knees to keep the pelvis neutral. That means pubic bone, two hip bones parallel to the ceiling, a small space under the lower back. With the handles, you can move the arms independently. Whereas Christine is holding the roll down bar like a kickboard in a swimming pool. Keep the spine stretching tall, breathing with it. You're gonna need that nice exhalation breath to stretch that spring. Keeping the support for the back as we do two leg bends, shoulder blades imprint into the mat, and switch and switch. Really reach that straight leg to let those hip flexors lengthen and get the length and opening in your hip. Again, make sure the hips stay nice and stable. You have to keep the powerhouse engaged, pelvic floor transverse as we do these pushes. And let the back of the leg and the sole of the foot stretch. And this is neutral, so it's gonna feel a little sticky outy with the tail. Inhale as you push the legs back, so you're in a plank position. Exhale, tuck the knees in, 